Unlike other cryptocurrencies that have witnessed huge spikes in price over the years, Cardano 88 has continued to tread a bullish path without getting caught up in all the drama. 88 has never traded above $3.10, and it almost seems impossible to believe given that it has been around since 2017. Judging from a balanced perspective, Cardano seems greater than what the prices of its native tokens suggest, and this greatness could be benefiting Plan B for its survival in the crypto market. Meltdowns in the crypto market can be scary, and what investors are currently facing is enough to make them certainly nervous. Trading screens are red, and it's almost impossible to find a cryptocurrency in the green. But investors are still searching for a safe haven crypto to put their money in. It has been a dismal year for the crypto market, which has recently included an extended crypto winter as a result of the FTX collapse. Not only does the company still owe a lot of its customers money, but the CEO, Sam Bankman-Fried, appears to have been caught up in some illegal activity, such as using customer funds to bail out the crypto trading firm he also owns, which is known as Alameda Research. Unfortunately, the troubles have invaded other crypto firms and investor confidence has hit an all-time low. Thousands of cryptocurrencies are overflowing in the market, and most of them offer nothing in particular other than the same payment functionality that almost all cryptocurrencies have. If the external conditions affecting the market continue to linger, a lot of these cryptocurrencies might eventually shut down. Cryptocurrencies with solid fundamentals and prospects like Cardano, however, seem to be the ones keeping the entire market in one piece. Cardano is one of the new models of cryptocurrency, which offers more value than a simple token. The leading cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, stores value in its token, while on the other hand, Cardano has value in its application and its token services, transactions, and its applications. The real-world implication of this attribute is that the Cardano network can support all sorts of transactions in many industries, and is continuing to wax stronger in the aspect of decentralized finance. According to the team of developers, they are striving for a more democratic process that serves all parts of the population and permitting people to transact peer-to-peer -peer is a significant step in that direction. The Cardano network is also deeply interested in bolstering this educational sector. Generally, the millions of dollars worth of crypto have been donated to colleges and universities over the last few years to invest in educating students on the merits of cryptocurrency and to expand blockchain research. Granting the next generation of builders and entrepreneurs the resources required to explore this burgeoning field could be a good indication for the blockchain industry. Two years ago, IOG, the cryptocurrency company that builds the Cardano cryptocurrency, announced that it has donated $500,000 worth of Cardano ADA to the University of Wyoming to help fund blockchain research. The donation was targeted at the university's blockchain research and development lab. In return, Cardano's brand was plastered over the lab and this attracted plenty of discussions about it. The CEO of IOG, Charles Hoskinson, said in an AMA session where he invested in the lab due to Wyoming's supportive business environment, quote, Our hope is to have a very substantial presence in Wyoming and write a lot of very good software there, end quote. He added that the donation would not just fund research in the real-world uses of blockchain technology, but will further develop Wyoming as a talent hub for software engineers trained in the most advanced software development methods in the world. Until now, Cardano has not stopped getting involved in these kinds of feats, thus expanding its sphere of influence. After announcing a huge investment at Stanford and Carnegie Mellon, Input Output Global has announced the funding of a $4.5 million research hub at the University of Edinburgh. According to Charles Hoskinson, this investment is part of its plan to advance the blockchain industry. IOG has been working with the University of Edinburgh for some time, and I am thrilled that this new research hub will let us continue to advance our industry, he said. The IOG Research Hub is an initiative backed by IOG and the University of Edinburgh to improve the understanding in the scientific world, coupled with proposing a standard for research in the blockchain and distributed ledger industry. The hub would also facilitate development in Haskell, which exists as a mathematically pure computing language underpinning Cardano. Notably, IOG has had a long-standing relationship with the university, as it has previously built a blockchain technology lab in the School of Informatics. From Hoskinson's perspective, collaborating with these institutions facilitates the execution of their goals. Working with leading institutions like Edinburgh to set up these blockchain research hubs is essential to our vision of making academic rigor an industry standard, he added. 
In the same way, IOG announced the funding of a new $4.5 million blockchain research hub at Stanford University in August. This collaboration was to address basic questions in the blockchain ecosystem, promote the need for research, and increase the blockchain industry's collection of scientific knowledge. According to the reports, the research hub would consider a multidisciplinary approach and ensure that researchers have a chance to collaborate with the blockchain industry. Also, a committee was commissioned to oversee the hub by ensuring that research programs are agreed upon. A call for proposal is launched, and submitted proposals are reviewed, among others. Similar to the Edinburgh University collaborations, Hoskinson believed that working with Stanford University could be a significant move in fulfilling its vision. Quote, We have been dedicated to vigorous research since the inception of the business, and our work forms the foundation on which Cardano has been built. Working with leading academic institutions like Stanford to set up these blockchain research hubs is key to our vision. With the research hub, blockchain development can grow even faster, based on new learnings that will emerge, and the hub will add a new layer of validity to our sector that we haven't always been afforded. End quote. As expected, these investments should reflect on the ADA coin price, but unfortunately it has had the opposite effect. So far, ADA's price is still following the general market trend, and it's not a surprise that Cardano is in the red along with the rest of the market. Taking any drastic decisions regarding Cardano investments seems not to be wise at this current moment. However, Cardano's unrelenting efforts are quite admirable. The Cardano founder has a vision to rebuild the social and economic infrastructure of African nations with blockchain technology. Cardano sees the deep-rooted centralized infrastructure underpinning Western nations as an obstacle that African nations need to circumvent on their road to becoming Web3 giants. In Cardano's vision for Africa, code is king, and the code transcends government, and if the government tries to move it in a particular direction, they cannot. In the past, the fate of billions of Africans was decided in the boardrooms of the West and in the golf resorts where its power elites play but Charles Hoskinson's intervention will change this norm. He emphasized that the blockchain is not influenced by the politics of the day or the geopolitics of the large nations over small nations. Cardano has been slow to kick off the starter block, being years behind major first movers like Ethereum, but certain investors reckon that building the Web3 world will not be a 100 meter sprint. Instead of recording huge highs and fewer lows, Cardano often seems to trade in a very narrow band for long periods of time. As a result, it could be a great long-term play, but may frustrate investors looking for an immediate home run. Despite being surrounded by turbulence, cryptocurrency continues to fascinate investors, and developers keep coming up with new forms of cryptocurrency, as well as new uses for tokens and their platforms. As investors pour money into what they hope to be a profitable investment, the total value of cryptocurrencies have skyrocketed. Cardano has been around for a while, and its creators have developed the platform in stages, scaling and adding features with each new upgrade. From all developments, Cardano does offer more value than other tokens due to the platform's potential to have real-world impact. As it scales and improves, more users are likely to jump on the bandwagon or increase their usage. But the question is, will 88 ever reach $5? Well, Cardano can hit $5, but the current conditions of the crypto market will make this achievement temporary. Investors are not looking for short-term highs, but sustainable ones. While the stock market and the economy will continue to struggle, it will be difficult for Cardano to reclaim former highs or even go beyond them. Investors should inspect this crypto winter to be more of an excruciating one than in the past. However, Cardano will continue to reflect its advantages and outstanding attributes. With this, it can secure investor confidence, which will enforce mass adoption. Cardano will keep stepping up its game, and its value will skyrocket tremendously soon in the future. But of course, what are your thoughts on this? Let us have in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video, but before then, check out our other videos to find out how Cardano is living up to the dream of being the Ethereum killer. And as always, make sure you click on the subscribe and notification buttons.